first you have to check yourself. You have to be humble and you have to ask, can you um, help me? I need to know what I'm doing. I need to know what questions to ask, where to go, and what I should be doing. And then you have to listen. Locally and nationally, being involved in committees, chairing committees, and getting to know people from all around the country is actually an amazing opportunity to locate that mentor. Developing a relationship both within the profession, so professionally, but also on a friendly, more amicable side, a personal side if you can. I think that's incredibly helpful in a mentorship relationship because it allows you to be a little bit more frank. Transition from one place to another, um, especially at the early years of your career, and if, if that's something that you're, you have done or you're considering doing, be mindful about the relationships that you have with, with attorneys that you work with and keep in contact with those attorneys that you have strong relationships with. For me, the best mentorships have come kind of organically. It's typically come where I've gone to someone and asked about a case they had because I found it interesting. And now when I expressed a genuine curiosity and a want to have knowledge, then that person wants to interact. Uh, I see sponsors as people who uh, know you intimately, they know um, um, your worth, uh, they know uh, your values, and those are the people who are going to be champions for you in rooms where you may not have a seat at the table. You have to develop that relationship. It doesn't, it's not organic in most cases, and you have to, um, you know, you have to go out for coffee, you have to go out for, uh, for a drink or go out for dinner to develop that, that relationship so that the relationship becomes organic. It doesn't just become organic overnight.